Now let's uh, put our hands into a clay and uh, actually uh, make a mod bus test by using a computer service cable and uh, a probe. And here I actually have a probe that is capable of communicating with Modbus and a service cable. And what is special about this service cable is that uh, this USB port will provide the power for the probe and also work as a RS-485 USB converter. So typically if I want to change some settings in this probe, I will use the uh, Vaisala Inside PC software but this cable can be also used for uh, testing Modbus communication. And let's take a look how to do that. And as I mentioned, all these uh, Modbus registers and communication parameters are more or less vendor specific. And that's why you need to keep this uh, user guide open when you start testing Modbus communication. I will use a command line tool called Modpol. You can install it from the web. I can add the link in the uh, webinar material as well. And uh, by typing Modpol and H, I will get the help for all the uh, uh, comments that I need are presented. So mod poll. And first I need to define what kind of protocol I'm using and I'm using RTU. Then I need to know what is the unique address, ad address of this uh, probe. And uh, the manual says that it's 240 by default. And then I need to take care that the communication parameters are in, in my PC, which works as a Modbus master, are the same as the probe. So serial bit rate is the 19200 by default in both systems. Data bits are eight, that's also correct, but the stop bits are different. So I need to define in the mod poll that I use two stop bits. And the parity is also different. Uh, HMP 113 defines that it's none. Then I need want to read some measurements. I want to read relative humidity and temperature. These are now floating point values. And the first register is one. And uh, Modpol is actually using one-based registers. So that's why it's one. And uh, then what I'm actually reading here is uh, data registers. I will use this T4 and these are actually float values. So we don't need to take care of the uh, endians or uh, byte orders or stuff like that. Uh, this uh, modpol works by default correctly. And uh, actually I need to read two registers because I want to read the temperature as well. So number of values two. Okay. Uh, Modpol is a little bit special in this sense that uh, I have defined float and Modpol knows that float occupies two registers. So actually if I want to read two float registers, Modpol will automatically read four 16-bit registers. And the last important thing to know is the virtual COM port that this computer is giving to my USB service cable. And let's hit enter and see what happens. And there we have 
the first reading is now relative humidity and uh, second reading is temperature. Okay, quite close to each other. How will I know which one is which? So one way is to just provide some humidity here. And this also demonstrates that this is uh, actually live reading that we get from the probe. 